Panthers stink. They're going to fire their head coach this week. And listen, he made a lot of money. Don't feel bad for him. He's going to get a job at the collegiate level coaching. Matt Rule's going to be fine. Craig Stradamus. Craig Stradamus. Craig Stradamus strikes again. <laughs> Welcome back to the Garden Show. Craig Jennings and Cody Decker. Sometimes the blind squirrel finds a nut. Cha-ching. I get no joy out of a man being fired, but to be fair, he has $67 million coming his way uh, based on the contract he signed with Carolina. And uh, David Tepper, the owner of of the Carolina Panthers, who's kind of a strange guy when you watch him talk. He doesn't exude confidence or, you know, like a guy that's uh, all that competent. I don't know how that guy made his money, but it wasn't public speaking, I can tell you that much. Um, He's probably got some kind of weird algorithm to, you know, buy and sell stocks. I don't know what it is. But uh, here's here's the reality of that situation. And shame on me. Because I bought into the notion that Baker Mayfield was going to bring the Carolina Panthers to the wild card game postseason and prove all the haters wrong and all the naysayers wrong. And unfortunately, I was wrong on that one. Craig (laughs) Stradamus. Craig (laughs) Stradamus. I got I'll give you that. (laughs) We really should have known that this was going to happen because, to be fair, Baker Mayfield is the coach killer. That's what he is. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All of them. Yep. Oh, Greg Williams. Oh. You. <laughs> Freddie. Freddie never had a chance. Matt. Oh. And by the way, Kevin Stefanski's going to go soon, too. <laughs> and that'll be on The Undertaker's record as well. Now, to be fair, that's not 100% fair to Baker because uh, Hugh was uh, 1-31 <laughs> before, before Baker even got to Cleveland. He just put the final nail in the coffin for him. But this is what happens when you think you have a quarterback who's going to be the leader of a franchise. Everybody buys into that because you have to. It's a quarterback-driven league right now. And when that quarterback doesn't deliver the goods, uh, at least as far as your expectation goes, this is the sad result. Coaches get fired. Now, he's got $60 million bucks, so don't worry about Matt Rule. He's going to go back to the NCAA and be uh, a head coach and maybe even follow in the Chip Kelly footsteps and get success again. You know, Chip's doing a great job now at UCLA. Mm-hmm. Just couldn't do it at the NFL level, and that's fine. But Baker Mayfield now is at a career crossroads. He's gotten four coaches fired. It, it, it's, it's hard because... He has all the skill sets, the tools, the in- I want to say all the intangibles, but he obviously is missing something. And it makes you want to say he's going to be okay. Yeah. But he just hasn't been every place that he's been outside of college, and it just hasn't worked out. Obviously, injuries has played a role, but Baker Mayfield, this may be his last opportunity to start. Well, yeah, I agree. He's going to be in the league. Like, he's going to be in the league. I just don't believe he's going to be a starter. Yep. Uh, because you just can't win. Get He can't I think, win. I think he's the kind of guy that will go to a team with a veteran quarterback, be a backup, or go to a team that needs a bridge, you know, until they get a draft pick or, you know, whomever it might be. We're okay. He can give us a year. We're going to go draft the quarterback high and eventually really do what Cleveland did with him. Like, bring in the new face of a franchise. But also, to be fair to Baker Mayfield, it ain't like Carolina's that good. Their defense is not bad. I'll give them that. But they don't have the greatest offensive line. McCaffrey hasn't been McCaffrey in a couple of years now. Who really are his wide receivers? None of them have developed, including Robbie Anderson. So, while Baker takes the hit for it, right? Mm-hmm. And now he's also not going to play for the next couple of weeks because he hurt his ankle. He has a high ankle uh, sprain. He's going to take the heat for it. But that entire organization is dysfunctional. They don't have good people making those types of decisions. So Baker's the easy fall guy, but there's a lot of other people, names that none of you even know, who also have to bear some of the responsibility. But this is what happens when you don't actually get the job done where everybody had great expectations of you building on what you created in Cleveland. You took, you took a team that hadn't been to the playoffs to the playoffs, you get hurt the next year, and then now you're out because you didn't perform. You didn't prove that you were worth really holding on to and giving that long extension. So now you have to take whatever offer comes your way because 
you, that's all you got. Right, right. And he's so not going to be on the Panthers next year. So he's going to he be was, a backup he somewhere. Was put, he kind of put himself in this situation to have to go to Carolina and make it work. He understood what he was of up course, against. Of course, of course. It was his only chance to start. It wasn't like 10 teams called the Browns and said, yo, we want Baker Mayfield. Yeah. And think about what Cleveland did. It's old history now, but they went out and got a quarterback who wasn't going to play for X amount of weeks, turned out to be 11, right, mm -hmm. into Sean Watson, gave him guaranteed money, the likes of which the NFL has never seen mm -hmm. or considered, who had a huge problem on his hands off the field. That's how much they knew Baker Mayfield wasn't their guy. I got fooled. I got fooled. The pretty face, you know, the immature attitude, the manliness, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, I've been That's fooled it. before. And I'll be fooled again. <laughs> I'm sure of it. And now what's happening in Carolina is an alleged fire sale. Because now they're going after the number one pick in the draft. And they're going to try to get a quarterback, whomever that quarterback's going to be. So there are reports both out of Carolina and out of Buffalo, believe it or not, that the Bills have inquired about what it would take to get Christian McCaffrey. Now, there, were, there was some thought in New York last week prior to the Giants beating your Green Bay Packers in London, that the Giants and Bills were talking. Joe Shane, the Giants GM, and Brian Dable, of course, very close with the crew in Buffalo, that Saquon Barkley might be traded to Buffalo for a first-round draft pick. Carolina has no upcoming draft picks to speak of. So they're in a position now with a couple pieces, not a lot, that could bring back you know, high-level draft picks. So keep an eye out for a fire sale in Carolina. Could you imagine the Buffalo Bills with a healthy Christian I, McCaffrey? I, I'm, when you're saying this, I'm thinking to myself, I, d does Buffalo even need that? Like, do they even? But if they did have it, like, great. But do they even need to give up a first round? Because we, we see what the Rams are struggling with. As far as no picks, you go all in right. just to win one chip. Hopefully you win it, and they did. But now the situation and the circumstances have, have changed, and they don't look great. Yeah, but if you take the Buffalo Bills, already a great team, good enough to win a Super Bowl right now, and you add the dynamic of a healthy McCaffrey, you know, now it's, I mean, now it's the Chiefs and the Bills, and to be honest, in the AFC, nobody else. But it's already the Chiefs and the Bills. And the Jets. But Well, you guys can mock me all you want. I'm never letting it go. Do you understand what it's like to be over 500? No, I don't. For the first time <laughs> since Joe Namath was my quarterback? Yeah, you have no idea. No, I don't. You would trade places with me fandom-wise in a yeah, second. I would not. Yes, you <laughs> would. No, I would not You're do that. You're one in four. I, d I do not care. You're the worst close game team in football. You're the Jets. <laughs> you suck. So do you. Okay. <laughs> This is great. Is it? <laughs> you Hold lost to the Giants. Stop it. <laughs> you did lose to the Giants. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> look, it, it, no, no, it sucks. Look, I'm, I'm, it does suck because the Giants, in my – they, I don't want to talk about it because they – <laughs> Thank you. Because this is a team that, that took two Super Bowls, in my opinion, away from us. Oh. Listen, the Giants took your soul on Sunday. <laughs> Just know that. <laughs> hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.